You may be wondering what a leg vice or post vice is. It's a vice used by a blacksmith and gets his signature name from the leg or post. The leg contacts the ground and when the blacksmith strikes the workpiece it's holding, it transfers the force into the ground. Over a few weekends, I'm going to be functionally restoring this one and if you hang around to the end, I'll show you how it's used. Now it's all cleaned up, the first thing that's missing is the spring. It goes in between here and here and pushes this jaw out. I'm going to replace it with this leaf spring, so let's go and do that. I want to make a note here that although that I've done this with a spring, you can actually just use mild steel. But since I had the correct spring in the right width, that's what I've used. What I'm making here is another piece that's missing. If you found this video, it's more than likely that yours is missing too if you're restoring a leg vise. You could get all fancy and make one of these using traditional blacksmithing techniques, but it's gonna be a lot easier for me to just fabricate one using some 20 millimeter or three quarter inch plate I had lying around. What this is, is a mounting bracket. It's the bracket that connects the vise to the stand or table you're mounting it to. I've just looked up photos of a design that was used for vices this size and gone with it. Next up is the wedges. The mounting bracket I've just made needs them to hold against the post. I'm making two wedges, one that locks in place and the other one that moves against it. The wedges have opposing angles and when the moving wedge moves, it forces the bracket and spring against the post. I've also got to make another wedge and space it for the pin that the moving door pivots on. spring sits in here. Next to the spring we've got this 
part, which holds it in place. On the back of the spring, we have the mounting plate. So the idea of the wedges is we're actually pushing this mounting bracket against this, against the post. It then pulls this side in. So as you can see, if we put a wedge in here, it forces this bracket against this. I've made the, the wedges. This one's a locking wedge so that when you sit it in, it stays there. Once it's in, it slides back here and doesn't fall out. Then we're free to put the other wedge in. We bump it down with a hammer. holds everything nicely in, in place. So what I'm doing here is I'm heating it up so it's too hot to touch, but not enough that it ruins the heat treatment. I'm gonna be adding boiled linseed oil and the heat burns it, create the black finish that I'm after. Heating it up also helps it to dry quicker. And so after waiting a few days, it won't be sticky anymore. Now I've got to wait for that linseed oil to dry. I'm going to build a stand for it. I'm using some plywood here because I already had it. I'm basically building an empty box which will have a steel top and a lip around the edge. I want the steel top so that I can place hot things on it without them rolling away. If it needs more mass to it, then I can just fill the box with rocks or concrete later. Coating the plywood in more linseed oil and then burning it to give it a more black smithy appearance.
here I am putting it together. You can see the black finish that the linseed oil has left. I never intended to have the wooden base, but the metal base warped when I welded it, so it wasn't stable enough without it. The grease here is just, just to help it move more smoothly. It's never going to wear out. You can see me resting against the spring here. It went together a lot easier without it, but obviously the vice needs the spring, so I just had to wrestle through it. You saw me making this wedge and spacer before. Now, this pin is an original, but it was original when it came to me, so I decided to keep it in. Now, if you thought I was wrestling before, I actually did this a couple of times um, without the clamp, but it was so long that I decided to pull it apart and re-record. So if you're gonna put one of these together, I'd highly recommend using a sash clamp to just hold it in place. As I said at the start of the video, this has been a functional restoration because I intend on using it. I don't want it to look pretty or painted off because we'll end up losing its paint to the heat. If you're restoring one of these, the most difficult part to repair would be the screw and the screw box. They are both fine on mine. If you're looking to buy one, I look for a bent handle. It's a pretty good indicator that it's been abused. If either legs are bent, you might be better off finding another one. As promised at the start of the video, the reason to use a leg vise is so you can hammer down on it. I'm forging the tape for this nail on the anvil that will move to the vise to form the head. It's not the easiest way to make nails, but thought it was good to demonstrate my point. For something a bit heavier, here's a railroad spike. I'm just going to bend it with the vise to show you some heavier blows. I'm just starting out on my blacksmithing journey and will be uploading projects, some of which are blacksmith related that I'm working on as I go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.